Welcome back. You're watching Big Deal. As promised, let's take it straight across uh, to Usha Martin's management on what the deal with Tata Steel means for them and how are they going to strengthen the wire rope business going forward. Mr. Jawar, um, you are a debt-laden company uh, now with this transaction. Are all your debt woes really sorted? And uh, how will you then expand your remaining business of Viro? You see, the total debt is around 4,500 to 4,600 crores, including the long term as well as all the working capital. With this transaction, the company is expected to repay almost all its debt. Uh, with this, the wire rope will have a very strong, the residual company will have a very strong balance sheet with an annual uh, EBITDA between 250 to 300 crores on a consolidated basis. Mm -hmm. And this is a business which we can grow. We have been a global leader. How will you grow this? Uh, the wire rope business, uh, Usha Martin has the leadership position in the country and we are among the top four players in the world. Uh, last three or four years, we could not invest in this business because of the over leveraged position in the company. With this, we will be able to expand our wire rope and wire business uh, as there would be very good cash flows being generated. In what the is in it for the present shareholders of Usha Martin after the sale? Of course, the debt levels are going down, but in the present business, why will a shareholder stay invested in Usha Martin's stock? Uh, because you see, today I think once the company is totally deleveraged, the it's going to be a debt free company with a global leadership in the wire rope business with an opportunity to have a good growth over the next three, four years. So we expect a good growth both in terms of our top line and the bottom line. Any targets for that? Uh, I would say at least we can grow at the rate of 15 to 20 percent per year. Mm -hmm. It may take a year to build up the capacities in these areas and I'm sure that that would really be then on an ongoing basis we can expand and grow at this rate over the next few years. So 60% of your revenues are going in terms of EBITDA. How much are you letting go of and was it loss making on a standalone basis? Uh, the steel cycle has improved and over the last two quarters the company has had a turnaround and has able to improve its bottom line both in the steel and the wire rope business. Mm. Uh, and we thought that it would be a good opportunity to sell the steel business at these levels so that you can Get totally better valuations. Better valuation and able to totally deliver the balance sheet and then have a solid rope business which you can grow. Did you preempt an NCLT kind of a process and before that you went ahead with an asset sale and how will the lenders benefit? Who are the lenders? Is there any haircut? Uh, the company has, Usha Martin has never had any default and Usha Martin has been able to meet all its commitment to its lenders. Uh, there is no provisions which have been made by the lenders and we have been totally current on our repayments of both interest and principal. Uh, our main lenders are SBI, ICICI, Exis, Exim along with few others and uh, they are very happy to see that the company has proactively taken this step and would be able to clear all its debt and uh, the company expects that going forward it would continue to add value to its shareholders. Any haircut? There's zero haircut expected for the lenders. All right. Thank you so much, Mr. Jawar, for joining Thank you. us. This looks like the beginning of many deals on the sidelines of NCLT before it really hits NCLT, where the overall value really gets depleted and it's a long haul process. So many more such transactions needs to be seen. With that, it's a wrap on Big Deal Edition for this week. And uh, stay tuned to CNBC TV 18. Thanks so much for tuning in.